In this video, we'll give you an overview of the Data Manager. You'll learn which data are needed to support your urban planning workflows, and in following tutorials, we'll introduce you to workflows to prepare and add the data into ArcGIS Urban through the Data Manager. The Data Manager is a tool that allows you to add, edit, and configure your data. Users that have editing privileges will be able to see the Manage icon in the top right-hand corner of the header. To access the Data Manager, click Manage. This brings us to the Manager interface, where we can configure types, layers, plans and projects and indicators. If you're using an example city or creating a new urban model with the US default template, Urban comes preloaded with space use types, zoning types, building types and project status types. However, we can personalise the model with specific data and parameters. The types and associated parameters that we bring in here connect to layers that represent the physical boundaries of your zoning, overlays and parcels. On the settings tab, you can see the city name. You have the opportunity to add a city logo URL. And here we can see the 3D base layers. Under 3D base layers, there's two scene layers, existing buildings and existing trees. It's recommended that these layers are published as scene layers from ArcGIS Pro. The publishing process creates a scene layer and a related feature layer, which is used for masking. You can also add a custom base layer. The major difference between the two is that the existing buildings and trees layer must be published as a 3D scene layer the custom base layers can be a combination of layers published as a web scene. Custom base maps and elevation layers can also be added. If you'd like to get feedback from the public on certain projects and plans, you can enable public engagement. You can also turn on Street View. In Street View mode, you can explore your city from a street level perspective and compare what you can see on the street today to your design proposals. You can manage planned study area data, project study area data, and future buildings data for projects in the plans and projects section of the manager. In the indicators section, you can manage both custom indicator and living atlas indicator data. Living atlas indicators are used to bring additional contextual information. Living atlas indicators can't be added using the data manager. These indicators are only available if you create a new urban application with the USA default template. In the manager, you can delete any indicators you don't want to appear in the application. That's an overview of the data manager interface. In the next video, we'll look at the workflows for adding space use types to ArcGIS Urban.